I, it was good. I think it's going to be something that's going to work for me. Um, I mean, it better because I need to pay bills. So for right now, I'll be working again for the time being. We'll be back to uh, nightly streams every night. Yeah, Chrono Cross is one I would like to get through. Uh, those ones that are on the thing below here on Twitch, they, um, I think it works only on desktop versions, but uh, a little uh, I'm poll that I've got, planning an attack on poll that I've got going are the ones that I do want to start relatively drive. sooner than others. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my. But we just we just sir. did a we just did a platforming, so I don't know if Ratchet and Clank. You know, platform and collectathon. <clears throat> I would like to to do uh, get back to like an RPG. Oh no, I'm not moving to Texas. No, we're not moving. <clears throat> I just went down there because I'm going to be working from home again. But I just went down there to meet everybody, learn how they do things, and get to uh, get acquainted with every get acquainted with everything. So, um, so yeah, so I'll be working from from home again, but. I would like to get to an art. It feels like we just did an RPG though, but I don't think we did. No, we haven't done an RPG. What am I thinking? I don't know. Hey, more Anyways, dude, we gotta talk to you. Drifted, Never talked now, to you before in this game, to but into you need to listen to me. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Yeah, this is one of the um, one of the uh, towns that we've been to, but we've never actually like talked to these guys and like gotten on the good side or whatever i believe we've already met have we oh <clears throat> oh of course you were at Helgen. Helgen. oh is that one of the prisoners oh he Helgen. was there i helped have guard escape he said he'd vouch for me i was set free i could have gone anywhere i came here to fight for the empire uh, let's just say i helped have guard escape Hadvar's alive i Hadvar. hope that's true he's a damn good soldier but he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. True. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricka? No, I need to talk to you. I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. It's not... Speak with Legged Ricka. A message from the she Brave House, the war going... Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, message. The Greybeards. <clears throat> What do those old hermits want with me? Ah, uh, the the con convening convening. What the convening? Why can't I freaking read that word? A uh, peace council. Uh, 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 Why? Uh, There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against. Or convening. His Sorry, never mind. Convening. Uh, we need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Best time to negotiate. I'm going to try to persuade even though I've never really talked. Well, you may have a Ooh, point. it worked. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Hooray! great council. For all the good it will do. We're kind of gathering everybody you together. Yeah, I really haven't talked to... Uh, let's, let's see if I can find a bunch of these places on here. Yeah, I haven't really been in this area. I haven't really talked to these people at all. I haven't gotten on their good side. I can go ahead and maybe so, steal something and see if they've got anything good. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Go ahead and take that. Ooh, it doesn't look like the uh, <clears throat> graphics have fully popped in. I don't know, I guess it's just low, low graphics there. That's kind of odd. I really would like to play this, the, uh, the upgraded legendary whatever it is. Um, maybe one day I'll buy it and play through it again. The usual platitudes, but this time share some. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Embellish if you have to. Eh, let's just go. I don't need to worry about picking through stuff. 
Oh, maybe I will. Come on, let's sound here. The kitchen. What's up, boys? Everybody's asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Nobody saw. Ooh. Rose Imperial Bow. Cool. Texas is well, Texas. Uh, okay. <clears throat> let's go. No, let's go over here first. Ooh. Castle Dordan. Ah, uh, whatever. There's going to be so many things I'm going to miss. I'm not going to be able to do everything, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Oh, well. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, I think once I get to a good a good spot in the main mission line, which we're kind of seems like we're getting there with these last three, and then there's three after this. Um, after I do that, I'll start one storyline, and I'll just do a bunch of theirs in rapid su succession. So, like, I'll do... Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. No, These I'm the dragonborn. I really want to do the dragon chat at him. That'd be really funny. Um... So what do you like more, Knorr, Skyrim or Fallout? So that's one of those things that's, uh, I know Gnostic earlier was talking about like rating. It's also the same thing with like games that I play. Like they're, they're similar, but at the same time, they're really different. They're, you know, the same play style, open world, many quests collecting, but one's a shooter. Kind of, I mean, you can be stealthy in melee, but um yeah but one's more shooting and stuff and the other one's you know bows arrows and swords and stuff so i can't really i don't know i always have a hard time choosing in between stuff like that now if you ask me what do i like more fallout 3 or 4 you know then that's a little easier but i mean if you had to say which one i would want to play more because i like them both i love both the fallout and skyrim but if you're asking which one I would rather play, um, I want to make sure I've got my. Okay. Um, but yeah, if I had to choose, if I had them both sit in front of me and I had to choose which one I wanted to play, I would probably kind of like the Fallout universe a little bit more personally. I uh, see. I'd like the whole uh, medieval settings in my preference so I think Fallout's more fun to play if you like running around and and having a lot of action and you know you have the action points to use and stuff like that um but I don't know I kind of edge towards Skyrim a little more I mean like I said that's just you know if I want to go in and, and do a you know, just unload a bunch of bullets and stuff on dudes. And hunt and... And craft things, especially with Fallout 4. All the crafting and stuff you can do, you know. I don't know. I would say I'd probably give the edge to... To Skyrim. And this is one place we haven't done a lot of talking either. Skyrim is the best Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is another place we haven't talked to the Jarl a lot and gotten on his good side. But oh well, we need help. I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. I was. Come to join the war. Speak with. Oh, this is Ulfric. So close. Oh, jeez. Um, yes, sir. That's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind. Speak with Gotmar. What does bring you to me? Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards, yeah. <clears throat> it's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. I probably, what you know, want? I could have been talking to him a lot earlier in the game and doing stuff for him, but oh well. Negotiate. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But... The political situation is still delicate. 
Not all the yarl. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep yawning. Me as high king. I am sorry, guys. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Uh, politicals be damned. Alduin has returned. Persuade. All hey, it works. <laughs> nice. World eater of song that's awesome. Legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even it does. Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you come to peace council. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail. All right, so we're getting everybody together. All right, completed. Talk to all freak. Talk to Engier. All right, let's go back out. Well, first though, there's no glory in war across the world. They all know that. Sorry. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Where I'll <clears throat> get up to a, a stopping point with this main mission, which looks like it'll probably be within the next mission, couple mission completions, and then we'll try to go through some of the other ones because uh, we do have like all the Dark Brotherhood stuff that we can do. Uh, we still have some more of the Danger quests to do. The Dawn Guard is DLC, and the Dragonborn is DLC. But yeah, there's there's a tons of other stuff that we have not even not even touched yet. So. All right, so we gotta go back to Angier because he's back up top. So probably, probably should have waited to come back. Well, no, I had to. I think I had to talk to all of them and then go back and talk. Thank God for fast travel because this would like quadruple the amount of time this playthrough takes. <laughs> I wish I could be a helmet. That's a really cool looking like helmet. All right, buddy. We got everybody to give a thumbs up, and they all want to meet and help us out. So you got to help us out. Please. So you've done it. Yep. The men of violence are gathered here. In these halls, whose very stones are dedicated to peace, I should not have agreed to host Take this your council. Seat. Oh, they're all here. Oh. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. This is the only way uh, I'll agree. Peace? peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. So what? And so it has proved. <clears throat> but regrets are pointless. Do something real quick while that's going. Here we are. Okay. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. All right. Let me take my seat, which is over here. Or what? So, Arn, is it? This is like right there. Are you going to let him in? Ah. Uh, you are not up, guys. Elwin. Pull off the greater. General Tullius. <clears throat> Jarl Elsif the Fair. Legit. Leg Legate Reiki. Stonefist. And storm cloak or we got them all here all right guys come on let's save real quick because what if there's different things i can say that'll persuade people maybe yes override keys there we go all right i'm gonna sit so that means everybody else needs to sit i can go third person for this can i take the tanker no i don't want to take that All right, here we go. Now that everyone is here, Negotiate a truce. So, okay, so I'm gonna have to be so we smooth talking here. I hope
hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Hear, hear. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. This may take a while. Perhaps this Probably gonna be a lot of talking. To get the Dragonborn's input on <clears throat> this matter. Alright, so oh, he's near his beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? So why are you talking? You think that I'll sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. You're right, the Thalmor have no business here. What's the harm? Besides, Talius doesn't even want her here either. Ooh. So that Maybe one. so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. I agree. This will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Ellen should go. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll have to have the give ground later hmm. it feels like a mystic to me but I'll <clears> bow to your judgment on this but she is to observe nothing more we are not negotiating with her is that clear yes Alfric why so hostile after all it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons she's supposed to be on our side no exactly no not this Good. time Sorry. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I, guess it. I have something to say first. Say it. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over <clears> the free <throat> people of Skyrim. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even so. If anybody to the like Empire, a generous knew gesture. of this meeting and came in here with a bunch of guys and just killed everybody, they would be killing everybody important in Skyrim. Business. Yes, let's get this over That's... with. <laughs> Are we ready to proceed? Yes, we're ready to proceed. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yes, help me I trap ask him. I that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Lasting peace. Who would like to open the negotiations? <clears throat> wow, yes. how long is this going to take, this whole talking? We want control of Markar. I thought I could just stand that's up and right say something. To to a truce. You're here. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you My slow pan across the room as they all gap. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. And yes. sounds kind of choppy there, I'm sorry. Yeah. Who's missing? General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. Why is it all choppy? I don't know. Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Uh, how about Riften? Winterhold seems like a fair trade. How about Riften? Uh, I guess I really haven't been paying attention. What are they talking about? Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil. I think I'm and following along. Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, 
Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Thomas, oh, well. I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. He doesn't like us, if so what? If you think you can hold Makar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. False well, Empire. Let's go, Garmar. <laughs> I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at the Nobody really likes Ulfric, it uh, doesn't field. seem so. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Oh, wait, is Burn is here? What? Uh, I don't know that. the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to... Yes, I didn't realize they were both here. ...before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. You tell him, Can Esbern. You put aside your it's not killing Parthenix for you, one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does it Shut have up. to do with the... If he's right about Alduin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember hey, that. Hey, back down. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us and take Idgrad Raventhorn with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? A lot of talking, sorry. It seems I have no choice, but... But we gotta get through it, I guess. Inside. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Fairness? <clears throat> I mean, no matter what I do, no one's going to freaking like my choice. I agree the Empire should turn over Hill March. The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. I don't know. Mm, we'll do territory. Even the Dragonborn betrays. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, These I guess. Terms are not, not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. I'm not trying to betray. Uh, this is know. a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim, at least for the greater good, above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Is that a good Stormcloaks choice? Will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down. Wow, all this movement. Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. So because of the actions that I chose, that's what happened? You both agreed to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. Oh, well. But once all I haven't really been on one side or the other, so... it will be the Empire's turn. Remember, Evgir Unsla. You should be pleased, Alison. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our Yeah, I kind of, I think I chose. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. The way I kind of wanted I to go. I appreciate your loyalty. Maybe. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. <laughs> After that, it's all out war. Come on, Galmar. All right, season unending is done. 
Giving up Markarth is a heavy <clears throat> price for this truth. Uh, completed the Greybeard's help and I learned the shout to call Udavi. Bal I assume you are familiar with Oh, we get to talk to Esbern again. He's going to teach us the shout? I didn't think he was going to talk to me. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing My is little one was that the blades noise. recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross reference no, this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites. I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Yeah, she's kind of fussing in there over. Uh, how does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. The name of the dragon. the dragon with the voice. He will hear you wherever he might be. So many dialogues? So many words, yeah. <clears throat> Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigation. I think I'm going to run in court. there for a second once he's done. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here. In this I don't book. mind when Esbern talks because voice actor is awesome. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. Wow, so we just learned it right from him. We didn't have to... <laughs> we just... We just learned it right from him. We didn't have to stand in front of a... Portal thing or anything. Alright, so the Fallen... Parthenex, so the season on ending is done. So while we have this moment in... Uh, while we have this little moment in between... What, is she done whining? I think she's done. No? Okay, well, never mind. I guess she's done. <clears throat> Alright, so... Oh no, there she goes. So while, while I am kind of here, let me go ahead and just run in there real quick. She, she may have just kind of misplaced one of her uh, pacifier... Or her, misplaced her pacifier, so... Let me just run in there for a quick second. Like... 30 seconds and I'll be uh, right back here just a second. 